Today, I'm going to show you how to make your stream look like a professional stream for free. When starting out as a streamer or content creator, you don't always have a big budget to spend on custom made overlays, panels and badges. But that's no problem anymore because of these free resources that are available right now. The only thing is that you need to know where to find them and how to install them. But I'm going to show you that in this video. There are many places where you can find free resources for your streams, but I'm going to show you a couple of the better options available. Let's start off with visuals by impulse. They are well known for their overlays for big streamers like Kurtz, JD, Nate Shot, Myth and Laglan, for example. They also make packages that are reasonably priced for normal streamers like myself. What you might not know is that they also have a great library of free items available for you. Let me show you where you can find those. So we are in the store right now. And here you can sort by price, let's say low to high. It will immediately show everything that's free. We have stream deck icons, we have stream panels, we have chat badges and all kinds of extra overlays, even complete overlay packs like the luxury stream package, for example. This is a great starter pack. They have tons of overlays. It looks really clean and it looks very premium with the gold, white and black setup. And it's completely free. So you can grab it anytime you want. This is just one example of the things that Visuals by Impulse has made for streamers. They also have a tools tab right here with a few very cool things. For example, they have a free panel maker. So this is the panel maker from VBI. Here you can make your own panels. You can put in a title, let's say YouTube. Of course, uh, we want to have an icon that is a YouTube icon. They have it right here. They even have multiple icons. Let's click that. Let's put in a subtitle. Ruben Saris, official channel. Then we can select a font that's available in their creator. Let's use, for example, a very clean font. We can change the color. Let's put it in white. Let's make it a little bit bigger and let's go for a different background. Let's see. I like this a little bit more. We can even put some extra overlays on it, which will really top it off. And of course we can select a color right here. Let's go for some, something a bit more red. And there you have it. You can just download the panel and you can use it in your about section on Twitch. The other thing they have is a stinger transition maker. This is a fairly new item, so it's still very limited. Um, you put in your email address and the type of format you want it in, MOV, WebM or AVI. You click next and then you can choose 11 different presets. They started with two presets, but they have already upped it to 11 different presets and they keep adding more and more different styles. So let's see. Um, let's use this one. For example, you can also preview it. It takes some time to load. It looks really good when it's done. You click next. You can upload a file here, select the colors for the background that you want, click next and it will make the transition for you. Then you have two options. You can download it from the website, but they also will send it to you in an email. So if you uh, click away, it doesn't matter. You will always have it in your inbox as well. So the second place I want to show you is nerd or die. They also make a lot of streaming packages for streamers uh, with overlays, widgets, panels, 
the whole shebang. And I must say, I really like their content. Uh, I'm using one of their packs myself. It's the Overdrive pack. I will put a link in the description down below so you can check it out. And now I will show you where to find the free resources on this website. So we hover over the resources tab and you can click all free resources right here. Now, there's a, a little bit of a difference here. Now this will also show some paid options, but some of the paid overlay packs also have free additions to them, like uh, a free stinger, free panels and stuff like that. So sometimes you can only get the panels and the stinger from that pack that are free, but other packs like the Wicked Halloween pack, for example, this pack is completely free. It's of course just holiday themed pack, but it's pretty good. It has alerts. It has the webcams. It has starting screens. It, it's, it's, it's a full pack, but it's free. And just like VBI, they also have stream deck icon packs. I'm a really big fan of these packs because they just make your stream deck look a lot more awesome than it already is. And you can fit it to your theme that you have going on on your stream setup. This is a free option right here. If you want the animated icons, it's gonna set you back uh, $6. Personally, I would say go spend that $6, but if you don't have the $6, then that's no issue at all, of course. And the last place I want to show you today is Stream Elements itself. Because as you might know, Everything on Stream Elements is 100% free. But the big benefit of getting it at Stream Elements is, of course, you are already on the website. So you can just go and customize it to your liking. With VBI and Nerd or Die, you get to download the files. And in those files is usually a one click setup file. And if you click that, you can just integrate it into Stream Elements or Streamlabs or whatever you are using for the platform you are streaming on. And it will just set it up exactly like Stream Elements is doing here when you click on Create. Uh, but it takes a little bit of a couple extra steps. So let's say you are a Valorant streamer. Here is the Operator Pack. You can preview it right here. It shows you the different scenes. It's an animated pack. It looks pretty cool. And it shows all the scenes right here, all the items available. Click on create my overlay. Give it a name. Valorant streams. Create my overlay. See the theme in my overlays. Let's click it. We scroll down because it makes a separate section. And here we are. We have all the overlays from the pack. This is per scene. So that's a really nice setup. This will also work the same with the visuals by impulse and nerd or die packs. They will just create a lineup of scenes. So it makes it easier for you to edit one specific scene. So now we just click on edit. We open it. If you want to change your Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, all your social handles, there's a small thing that you need to pay attention to. Let's see. We go to the socials edit here. And here we got the names for the widgets. Facebook, Twitch, Discord, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Now, what a lot of people do is they click on this and they change the name here like this. Ruben Saurus, for example. And then they finish, but the name doesn't change, as you can see right here in the bottom right corner. That's because you are just changing the name of the widget. So we click on this widget, and then we hit the settings button right here. And here we go to change the name. If we now change it, then in the bottom right, you can see now that the name is changed well. 
So that's a small thing that you need to pay attention to when editing your social media widgets. And there you go. Three options to make your stream look like a professional. I hope this was helpful for you. Make sure to like the video if you did. I'm always happy to help out others. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as good as I can. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. The link will be down in the description. It's twitch.tv slash Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next tutorial.